Vancouver was my next stop and I must say Vancouver International Airport the most well-designed place I've ever been in because everything just fitted in into this like indigenous I don't know authentic style like the birds and all that stuff like it was perfect but obviously you can't do too much in a hotel so I left and I must say Vancouver not as cold as I thought it was going to be so I had an ice cream which was really nice after checking in um, my family and I decided to do a quick like stroll around Vancouver and somehow we found ourselves in Canada Place which is a cruise ship terminal so yeah the view is absolutely amazing it's not like any other cruise ship terminal I've ever been in I mean Look, there's the sea, the sky, there are mountain ranges, like, it's just a whole landscape. What's a cruise ship terminal without cruises? I feel like this will be an absolutely amazing experience if I was actually on a cruise. Like, it just looks so amazing. nice, like, just imagine sunbathing there. Apart from cruises, they also have these seaplanes and they were just taking off and landing like very very frequently and I thought at first I thought that it might just be like oh there are people training but turns out no, I think it's for the tourists like tourists this is the perfect way to take in all of Vancouver within like I don't know 20 minutes or so because you get an amazing view and I found it really fascinating that these ships can take off like in such a short distance like here as you can see it's picking up speed based on the waves and you can see it's still in contact with the water but soon right here the waves die down so that means no more contact the plane is effectively in the air and I do believe it's going to do like a full lap around the mountains, you know, just so you can get a nice view. I mean, it's, it's mesmerizing, like, can you imagine the view from up on a plane? Obviously there were just like, plane just landing and it's really impressive, like you can buy a ticket to go on one of these things it will be like once in a lifetime experience literally we didn't tattle too long in this place because well i saw all that i could see but my mom and i wanted to hit some shops and coincidentally we found this this is the first steam powered clock and apparently it's a landmark and coincidentally we bumped into it which was really fun also on our way to chinatown we found this kind of movie set and it just looks like a zombie apocalypse just happened obviously vancouver you can't you can't go to vancouver and not visit stanley park i mean it's like hectares and hectares of just nature and just incredible views and landscapes and it will be absolutely amazing to be able to live here and just go on a stroll around Stanley Island like actively every day. I think I will have no trouble at all. A park, obviously it's going to be famous for its all of its nature aspects, for example the animals, the trees, the birds, like this bird, I didn't capture this on camera though, which was really sad, but the clam that it has right now, he was struggling to get it, so he flew up and then dropped the clam. And the clam broke, and he can get his food. And I just thought that was really, really smart. I mean, I only saw that kind of stuff on YouTube, but this, absolutely amazing. On my little stroll, I hit a few landmarks, for example this thing, the 9 o'clock gunpoint, 
which apparently it fires a loud bang at nine o'clock um but yeah it looks very much like a, a a bomb about to like explode or something like it's literally going to be firing bombs at the city which doesn't feel very secure but apparently it is so yeah and this took me ages to realize but this is literally just another perspective of like the the, the sea like opposite me is where i've just been canada place and this is sandy park so it's literally just like a little bay area kind of and you just it's literally so magical that is the lion gate bridge there's a lot of landmarks to hit in stanley park for example this the lighthouse In Vancouver you can also go whale watching and it's guaranteed that you'll see an orca or a whale or something. <laughs> really fun. I hope that you can see one from the lighthouse or something. You can also hit this place, Beaver Crest Pole. These give me the aesthetic of the airport that we just saw. Like, I guess everything's kind of tied together. This place is also located right next to the service station so you can hit like drinks and food also on the way. There are a lot of landmarks in Vancouver so this is the girl in wet suit and yeah but obviously a park it is obviously going to be known for its nature. As you can see these are the little I guess skeezes, geese that you found, that I found literally just like a few moments ago. I found this patch of land and it, there was just like, it felt like hundreds of them just, land, just landed there and decided to take a nap. And they are not scared of me like at all. I thought that they would be because like compared to their size, I'm practically a giant and we as humans will be absolutely terrified if a giant came next to me next to us well these guys are just either really brave or they just know that i don't pose a threat to them so yeah although they are very protective like i got to maybe a bit too close to one accidentally by the way and it started like just going like trying to scare me away and it did work like i just i ran <laughs> kind of there are just more memorials for example this one there are just so many places you can see in in Stanley Park I mean it's a hundred percent worth a visit but it does take quite some time to like get around all of the places if you want to see like everything but yeah I mean Vancouver the Stanley Park it's amazing it's magical like there's you, you can pra practically see every landscape apart from glaciers here like rivers sea and that's practically the end of this video thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye